Hey, what's going on, everybody? Scavenger here, right where I left off in the last episode of Eternum. We're about to go into the mansion that Ryan was invited to because he has a gem of doom. Alex is coming along as his plus one. So, you know what? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the last video, come back here, and then you'll know. So, uh, yeah, you have plenty of time to do that. It's a freaking video. You could pause it or you can just restart it. We're, we're, we're going to get inside the mansion. So, let's go. Now, yeah, right after the whole conversation outside, we have a few minutes later, and we are inside. All right. Here we are. Uh, like, we've already been in for a minute, I guess. Yeah. Fancy place. Fancy place. Holy fuck, this place is so staggering. And ostentatious. It's always a question of excess. How much bigger and better am I than you? You've got to flaunt it. I feel so out of place. Like they can see and smell the poor on me. Do I look rich to you? You look passable. Don't worry too much. None of them are particularly clever. I know that from experience. Good evening, sir. And welcome to the Boyle Mansion. Thank you. The Founder and the Lady of Eternum will make an appearance at 11 o'clock p.m. But all of the guests have already arrived. Ah, the big man! He apologizes for his delay, as an unforeseen event has detained him. Well, that's sensible. I imagine that being the CEO of one of the biggest companies on Earth has to keep you busy. In the meantime, I suggest you partake in our gourmet cuisine, featuring a wine selection carefully crafted by our in-house... Uh... I... I I'm not fancy. You could probably smell the pour on me, so I don't know how to say that word. Well, how, how, how do you guys say that? I don't know. I'm not, it's so fancy, fancy talk. Rich people talk. I don't know. That that sounds good. Wait, is that sushi? Yes, it is, sir. Would you like to taste it? Sure. You can find further savory foods and other culinary delights in the golden room. I'll check that out. Thank you. We didn't come here to eat, remember? Oh, come on, Alex. I can't even eat a couple of... What is all these fucking fancy words? Uh, fuck you guys. Eat this one if you want. But that's it. Remember, you need to be focused. Of course I'll be focused. It's just sushi, not a joint. Mmm. It's... It's... Fuck you. Oh, what, what, what's going on? must be the best damn sushi is of his life right now D Jesus tap doesn't Christ Th this is divine the sushi is this what rich people eat every day sweet mother of God it's the best thing I've ever tasted you're outrageous you know that you've never eaten sushi before this is not normal sushi it's like having an orgasm in your mouth Oh, for fuck's sake, don't overreact. It's just a handful of rice with a slice of tuna on top of it. Taste it! <sighs> Fine, I'll eat one. Will you shut up and start focusing if I do? Yes. All right, let's see. Mm, happy, can we? Oh, her too. What have they put in this damn sushi? Look how wide her eyes are. And? Sweet mother of God, this shit is divine. It's the best damn thing I've ever tasted. It's like the nectar of the gods. It's amazing, isn't it? <clears throat> um, it, yeah, it's not... Not bad. Not bad? Uh, okay, enough. We didn't come here to drink and eat, Ryan. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. No more distractions. Dahlia, Nova, and all of the others are counting on us. So we need to stay focused, no matter how ridiculously good the food is here. So you admit that the sushi is amazing. Jesus Christ, it was glorious. How can it be so fucking good? Do you think we could sneak a platter out of Eternum? Right? It was like having an orgasm in your mouth. I know, but but that's enough. Let's focus on the mission. I've totally fucked up and changed your voice to something completely different. You're right. We should get going. 
We should split up. We'll be able to talk to more people that way. Makes sense. I can see three members of Ulysses' board of directors from here, on the upper floor. I'll leave them to you. I doubt they'd recognize me, but I prefer not to take the risk. The bearded man is Dr. DuPont. He's as disgusting as my father, so be careful with him. The woman is Elisa Astor. She's haughty and full of herself, so you'll probably get her attention easily by complimenting her. And the last one is Mr. Moss. He's nice. Or at least he's pretending to be. He's the only one of them who did goggle at me last time I saw these pigs. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Understood. You take the other stairs. Let's meet again downstairs next to the statues. Okay, good luck. Good luck. Alright, who are we going to meet with? You got this, Ryan. Oh, okay. Yeah, I gotta try to uh, have a uh, posh accent, you know? I gotta act like one of the rich guys. It's refreshing to find some... Hold on. It's refreshing to find someone whose countenance compliments their attire so excellently, madam. Yeah, I'm nailing it. Alright, we gotta talk posh the entire time. Hmm... Leave? No, let's talk to people. Uh, we'll talk to each one. Talk to each one. How many times do I have to say it? I want more wine. I want more wine. Get your ass to the cellar and bring me a full bottle, you moron. Ah, oh, these fucking idiots still need a ton of improvement. I agree. Whoever programmed them has no idea what they're doing. Can you believe I asked for salmon nigiri and they brought me aramaki? Exactly. These programmers are terrible. I bet they hired immigrants or worse. Women. Yeah, I bet they did. Jesus, what a fucking bigot. Can I ask you something, Dr. DuPont? No. I don't even know who you are. I'm in charge of Ulysses Network Security. Then let me tell you that you're doing a shit job. This guy's a tough nut to crack. We had a security breach at a restricted server the other day. Was that your fault? Oh, yeah, I heard of that. I'm so sorry. We were attacked by a group of Chinese hackers. Chinese, huh? That makes sense. Everything is resolved now. What do you mean, everything? They stole something very valuable. Oh, really? What was it? You don't know. One of those weapons of Atlas or something. I don't care about that bullshit, but if it becomes public that we can be robbed so easily, our stock will take a hit. I see. If I may ask, if the weapon was so valuable, why wasn't there more security, more Praetorians guarding it? I don't know. You tell me. Aren't you in charge of Ulysses Network Security? Why isn't there fucking Praetorians in every corner of Eternum? Um, well... What was your name again? Um... Good evening, gentlemen. Would you care for one of these fucking things? Oh, thank God. He was backing me into a corner here. He doesn't seem that invested in Eternum's day-to-day -day goings on, though. Unless it relates to the stock price. I won't get much more info from him. I'll make this very clear to you. If you don't bring me my fucking wine in less than five minutes, you will regret it. Do you understand? Of course, sir. My apologies. I will be right back. Incompetent. Anyway, what were we talking about? Um, I was saying that I'm headed to the kitchen to ask for an explanation. Good. You tell them to bring me my wine. Of course. Good evening, Dr. DuPont. Uh -uh. Alright, so fuck that guy. We will talk to this lady next. Is it a lady or dude? I don't know. Mr. Moss, so it's a dude. Good evening. <laughs> okay. Oh, good evening, young man. How can I help you? You're Mr. Moss, right? Ah. I guess these masks don't cover enough. Yes, I am. And this is my darling, Alice. And nice to meet you. I'll let you talk. I need a glass of champagne. Do you need anything? No, thank you, dear. Well, you must be the man who stole the gem from Garrington. Oh, what? How do you... Uh... We have some business together. 
so I knew he was going to come here tonight. But it seems he lost a gem of doom at the last moment. And then I noticed your tuxedo is not tailor-made, so I assumed you were one of the players invited tonight as a part of the gem's event. Wow, you're as sharp as I say. Yeah, I had to buy the suit at very last second, and I didn't have enough money to get a bespoke one. That is unfortunate. Take this as a small token of welcome. What do you do? Hold on, I want to see how much money he gave me. Eh, not that much. No self-respecting man should go around without a good suit. Did, did you just send me 120 Eternals? Wow, thank you. I don't know if he's still doing the posh voice, but I'm going to stop it because uh, it's annoying me. This should be enough to have your suit tailored. True beauty comes from helping others. Damn, I guess there are some good people working at Ulysses. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, now that you mention it, I've been wondering for a long time if... Do you know anything about... We wanted information about the weapons of Atlas, right? That's like the main objective, weapons of Atlas or Thanatos. So let's go there. The weapons of Atlas? Oh, yes. Hyas, Neoni, and Calypso. Powerful artifacts. And the last one is yet to be found. Yeah. The pot knew that Calypso had been stolen. Moss has to know it, too. So, yeah, when he was talking about something being stolen, he was talking about Calypso and not the recent Gem of Doom. Just so you all are tracking. Maybe he just wants to see my reaction. I hope it's me who finds Calypso, right? I've got some clues about its location. Hmm. Best of luck, kid. Thanks. Well, I don't want to inconvenience you anymore. Thank you again for your gift, Mr. Moss. My pleasure. I'm not sure why, but he has an air of mystery around him. Okay. Is that all we're going to get from him? Now let's talk to this lady. Uh, nice outfit. Oh, and look who's here, Calypso. <laughs> huh? Looks like Calypso managed to blend in rather well. What could they be talking about? This is Miss Astor. Actually, he was caught with her sister in his office. No way. How do you always know the juiciest rumors on all of Eternum? It's all about the connections, Susie. Is there any particular rumor you'd like me to confirm or deny? I know them all. I heard the founder was seen in Aphrodite's the other day. Is that true? <laughs> well... I didn't tell you this, but damn, I'm digging the types of clothes rich people are wearing. I wish Calypso and Alex would have chosen these threads. Cutie. Uh, uh, what? Any rumors you've heard about lately? Oh, um, I've heard that, uh, Thanatos is actually a woman. That she walks on stilts and uses a voice changer to look like a big scary man. Oh, please, that's completely false. Actually, keep this between us, but I go with him to the thermal baths of Hualache. Really? Huala what? I have seen him naked and, let me tell you, his stature is absolutely dwarfed by the weapon in his pants. Oh, boy. The thermal baths? That's total bullshit. Next, you'll be trying to convince me that Thanatos is actually just three kids in a trench coat. And speaking of big instruments, I've got a new boyfriend. Did I tell you? Oh, tell me, tell me. Who is he? I've been sleeping with a 24-year-old boy. What? Huh? Why is Calypso gasping? Uh, you a natural deviant. Um, excuse me. How could you do that to an innocent child? Uh, what? Did you hear me wrong? I said 24 years old. I could hear you loud and clear the very first time. How dare you boast such an act? Um, what? I'm sorry, who are you again? Me? I'm pre- Sh She's a bit dizzy. Too much champagne. If you'll excuse us, I'll escort her to the restroom. Oh, I see. Of course. What the hell was that? You promised me you'd try to go unnoticed. Am I supposed to stand idly by when people in this place abuse children with nary a concern? What the hell are you talking about? That woman said she was sleeping with a 24-year-old. An infant. Um, 
I'm still not sure how aging works with your race, but that's not an infant. Like, at all. You know I'm only 18, right? <laughs> Calm down. You are 18 years old. I could barely walk when I was your age. You certainly do not look 18. Alex, Dahlia, Luna, and Annie are 18 too. Sweet mother of Selenel. I have been spending time with toddlers. We're not kids. We just grow faster than you. If you were human, you wouldn't look like this at 84 years old. I can assure you, you definitely wouldn't have this figure. What's the life expectancy of elves, actually? Well, we grow up at a steady pace until we're 60 years old. After 60, an elf is considered an adult. Our bodies then stay physically the same for the next 2,000 to 3,000 years. Really? That's incredible. I wish we could live that long while looking eternally young. And what happens after all those years? We die, naturally. Although, it depends on the person. Lothlariel, Lord of Irenabor, is still alive, and he is over 8,000 years old. It is said he fought in the War of the Last Alliance. Amazing! And another question. I was wondering, what happens if a 6-year-old elf sleeps with a 50-year-old one? What do you mean? Well, you know, if an adult elf has sex with an infant one, is that some kind of taboo or an... Oh, I... I should not be the one explaining this to a commoner, but yes, that is controversial. I see. Similar to our world, then. Although, it is nothing compared to inner caste relationships, of course. That is expressly forbidden. You mean like a prince with a peasant girl? Yes. It is despicable and prohibited altogether. Come on. Prohibited, yes, but despicable? The first time we met, you said you thought that the relationship between humans and elves were hot because they were forbidden too. I never, never said such a thing. Oh, the princess is lying to her people. I... You are hopeless. Whatever, I will go back to the gathering. Don't get your hopes up, though. I think that woman is making things up as she speaks. Yes, I noticed. These people pretend to be high society, but they are nothing but facades. But I guess I will stay for now. I will be around if you need me. I'll call if we need your help. Thanks, Callie. You are welcome. I called the princess by a diminutive, and I wasn't threatened with vaporization. Making progress. Alright, do we have anyone else we can talk to? I guess I can leave now. I pulled everything I could from these people. Let's go downstairs. And, uh... I don't know who that is. Hmm. Alex oh, that's Alex. Duh. Alex is already here. She's talked to someone. Oh, finally. Come here, quickly. Mr. Linus has something amazing to share with you. Really? Well, I'm all ears. It's nice to meet you. I'm Alistair Linus, Zip versus Chief Technology Officer. Pleased to meet you. My colleagues and I are interested in talking to you about our latest creation. We finally put some finishing touches on our prototype of, uh, of an artifact that will change Eternum forever. At Zipverse, our goal is to design products that allow users to answer daunting questions and explore the curiosities of the human mind. For this project, we reached out to Eternum players to figure out the number one question on, on everyone's mind. Does Adriel have a po- Uh, excuse me? Eternum's NPCs are directly designed and controlled by the Founders team. Whether or not, whether you like it or not, Ulysses has the most advanced AI technology in the world. Their NPCs are bound to whatever they're programmed to do, no matter the situation. And there was nothing we could do about it. Until now. Explain yourself. Each NPC has a chip on their neck, similar to our neural implants, that dictates their behavior. It determines their role in the game, interactions, and limitations. And this artifact of yours... It is capable of reconfiguring the settings of said chip. How? Let me offer you a practical demonstration. Hey there, can you help us, cutie? Of course, sir. Is there anything I could do to serve you? Actually, yes. I'd like to go to the restroom with you real fast and have some fun. I'm sorry, I didn't understand your request. Let me rephrase it. I want you to come with me to the restroom so I can f until it's sore. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. We can't do that. Just a quickie. Please, do not insist or the Praetorians will intervene. Oh, that's too bad. Can you give me your ID number at least? 
Of course, it's 012-754-111. Thank you. NPCs have ID numbers too? Like us? Yes, they all have one. It's linked to the chip I mentioned earlier. 012-574-111. You enter the number, you rotate this thing as if it was a Rubik's Cube, and... If you don't need anything else, I'll... I'll be on my way. Not so fast. First, you want to come with me to the restroom so I can f*** you? Of course, sir. Holy shit! What the hell? Go ahead, I'll be there in a minute. How the fuck? It's a revolution! And if you were wondering, yes, they have... And they're all unique too. It's simply brilliant. And you're not afraid of Ulysses taking action if they discover this? Ulysses and my company are trading partners. It wouldn't be the first time I've tried to push the limits of having fun. And besides, we're using technology that can be found inside the world of Eternum. So we're in sort of a gray area. And could this artifact be used with Idriel herself? I tried asking her for her ID number, but she's not programmed to tell it to us like the rest of them. She seems to be more advanced. But if somehow you managed to discover it, yes, it would be possible. You could the Lady of Eternum. Well, that gives off a rapey vibe, to be honest. But technically, it would also be possible to make her or other NPCs help you. Or give you confidential info, right? Uh, well, I didn't think of non-sexual applications of the artifact, but... Yes, I guess it would be possible, of course. Interesting. So what? Are you interested? One prototype for 25? 25 Eternals? Absolutely. Give me three. 25 million. <laughs> oh. I'm feeling a bit sick. I'll go get some fresh air. Me meet me in the garden. Sure. What's gotten into her all of a sudden? Oh, fuck. William, are you trying to rip people off with your junk again, Alistair? M my business is always legitimate. I still don't understand why this company allows scum like you to come to these events. This is why it's in a decay. I... I, I was leaving already. Um, I'll be in the golden room if you need me. Sure. William walks in front of you while you try to avoid eye contact. I hope that clown didn't disturb you. No, no, it's all good, thank you. Do we know each other? No, I'm pretty sure we've never met before. Hmm. Dad, y you have to come, now! Oh shit, he's here too? Not now, Axel. D Dad, it's important, I, I, I saw something. But please. I'm sorry, I must excuse myself. Mm hmm. Alright, I wonder what they're doing. Oh my fucking god. Why, why is he so terrifying? Whew, that was close. I thought he recognized me for a second. I should go to the gardens with Alex. I've been here too long. I said psych. Psych? Hmm? I'm sorry. Are you talking to me? Isn't this sculpture fascinating? The statue? Yes. Yeah, it's rather impressive. Oh, maybe it's Psyche. Sure, we'll go with that. It represents Psyche, the goddess of the soul. Mm-hmm, cool. And who's this one? A man. Well, yeah, I meant what man? Just a man. So, no one in particular? It's kind of an odd choice for a statue, isn't it? It depends on whom you ask. Some people could see a god in the figure of a mere man. Can a man obtain the power of a god? Can a mortal subdue a deity? Can a human transcend the limitations of mortality? Uh... I used to think that I understood the basic rules of our world until I saw Eternum. Here, everything is different. And at the same time, exactly the same. That's actually a good description. It has certainly transcended the term video game. Huh. 
a video game. Have you ever met the creator of a server? The creator of a server? Well, not personally, no. They say most of them are created by the founder and his team. As if they're the only ones who could sculpt Eternum. I met some hackers, though. <laughs> That's almost a developer, right? What did they hack? What? Shit, did I talk too much? Let me guess. In-game computers, drones, databases, chips, the exit portals. Um... Can they modify the terrain? Make you stronger? Become immortal? Change the rules of a world? Hmm. I guess not. Have you ever seen a single bug in Eternum? A glitch? Have you ever experienced lag or found the servers down? Uh... I guess I have hundreds of people working every day to make sure the experience is absolutely perfect. That's what I meant when I said it's more than a video game. Hmm. Can I ask you a question, friend? Of course. Why are you here? What did you come here looking for? Where? To this dinner? Yes. Answers. I see. In that case, meet me next to the main staircase at midnight. I must show you something. What's going on with this guy? What is it? Why me? You want answers? Just be there at 12. Hmm. Okay, I will. Until then, friend. Interesting. Kind of ominous. What the hell was that? Just a weirdo. Someone trying to mess with me or... God, I've got a head like a beehive. Too much info and too many strange people and too little time. I need a break. I should join Alex in the gardens. Some fresh air will do me good. Alright, so we're going to go to the gardens. We're going to go to the gardens and then, uh, you, you know, we'll talk to Alex, hang out for a little bit, maybe finish up this party and see what's going on with this weirdo um, at midnight. But we'll do that in another video. I think this one's gone on for a while, long enough. I want to make sure you guys get these these episodes in consumable pieces the right size and i think we got a good transition here anyways i appreciate you watching if you like the video and you want to see more as always go and smack the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and make sure you know if you want to support a little extra and get videos a little you know a little bit earlier maybe catch some of that spicy stuff i can't show you on youtube check out the patreon it's in the link tree link in the description that's all I got for you. You guys take it easy. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yes, I do. Hint I do. Have an idea. Can't take it. What did you say? If it works, it works. On my wiener. You did though, remember? I did come on! <laughs> Scab, what do you have me making, man? Oh. Scab.